Welcome to BET, this is our HP stand and what we're looking at today is Sprout Pro. This is our Create application. This is the basic application within Sprout Pro. What it allows me to do is take physical items like my butterfly and flowers and bring them into my digital world to work with. One of the things we can do with Create is we can use our stylus or we can use our finger to draw as well. So what I can do is select a colour and start to draw. This means you spend more time creating what you want to create and less time doing the fiddly tasks you don't need to. So here are another few applications I can show you on Sprout Pro. I can take an normal A4 page document that the machine knows and when I place it on my mat, what it would do is load, in this case, the human body. Zoom in and spin round. So now we have, in my opinion, one of the coolest features about Sprout Pro, which is 3D. So I've pressed start to scan. What you'll start to see now is our six segments in a cycle. Now the scan is completed, I can move my elephant off at my capture stage. As you can see on here, this is our elephant. Obviously we've got the underside and every part of it matched in. What I can also then do is send it to a 3D printer. So here's an elephant that we've already 3D printed earlier. As you can see, it's a lovely scaled down version of our previous model. This is the teacher station of Sprout Pro. And it shows how a teacher would use Sprout in their classroom environment. What you can see here is what our teacher station will look like and then what will be displayed onto the whiteboard or interactive display. So what I can do is load up my lesson. So in this particular case, my lesson is about Roman coins and I can load up a video. Obviously that's not the ideal way to show a video about Roman coins, so I can make that full screen. To do that, I just simply press the touch map button, making that a full screen approach. So I can then carry on and load up my lesson plan and prepare what's up coming up next. So whatever I place on my mat, and then easily able to scale up and down to show the whole classroom. And this shows off how a teacher can use Sprout to queue up past their lesson so they can keep going and make sure they all stay on point and don't waste any time. So the next application we have is something called HP Scan. What HP Scan is about is the ability to scan documents in using our Sprout Pro. Where this difference to normal scanners is we can use it as an OCR scanner. So what I can then do, different to some OCR scanners, is edit the picture. So I can move that to make it smaller, as well as jump in anywhere and start to write text on either my keyboard or my virtual keyboard. Hopefully this will make life a lot easier for teachers and bring in content from the physical into the digital world. Hi, this is a program called Letters Alive. It's for teaching reading English to early learners ages three to eight years old. Let's learn a little bit more about the letter H. If I see a H here, I see horse. The Learning Alive kit also comes with 94 words that children should know by age five. With these words, I can build thousands of sentences. So let's say this horse can, let's put a verb down here, run. Now the horse starts running. Let's try a different action word, eat. Now the animal is eating, and there's a visual representation of that. So the children are starting to see that the sentence makes sense. Let's try a verb that the animal cannot do. We know that a horse can't fly, but a three-year-old might not know that. So I'll put here, fly, and the horse answers no. And every 26 letters has an animal that also has a video associated with it. If I drop the video card down, now I can see the animal in its natural habitat. So as the children are learning letters and words and sentences and grammar, proper structure, they can also learn the sciences here. 